For an omelette, for each person you need two to three eggs, a knob of butter, a splash of milk, and to fill it, maybe some herbs such as chives and perhaps a little bit of grated cheddar cheese. I'm going to show you how to make a very simple but perfect omelette, delicious for lunch or a nice light supper. For each person you need two to three eggs depending on how hungry you are and how big your pan is. I'm going to do a three egg omelette and just crack them into a measuring jug. I think a measuring jug is the easiest way to pour the egg mixture into your pan. Then season with a little bit of salt and black pepper and add just a splash of milk. You literally only want about a tablespoonful of milk. Then using a fork, just beat them together. You don't need a whisk, you're not making a souffle, you just want to make sure that the egg yolk is well broken down. You can leave it plain or you can add a few fresh herbs and Chives and eggs are the perfect marriage, but if you would rather, you can use parsley or as I say, just leave it well seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm now going to get a knob of butter in the pan. You need a nice hot pan, not too hot, but you just want the butter to sizzle. And when it's melted, you can use butter or you can use olive oil, but when the butter's melted, just swirl it around the pan and add your beaten eggs. As the egg begins to cook, gradually pull the cooked egg into the centre of the omelette. This helps the runny egg to go underneath. You need to do that all the way around because we want all of the egg to be set and nicely cooked. Now I'm using a non-stick pan which makes life a lot easier. If you find that it isn't setting, if your omelette's really thick, you can always pop it under the grill just to finish off that surface. You can fill it with um, fried bacon, uh, mushrooms, I'm going to add cheese, you can add cherry tomatoes, whatever you feel like. And then sprinkle over some grated cheese. You can use low-fat cheddar, regular cheddar or your favourite cheese. And the heat of the omelette will just cook the cheddar. Then using a small palette knife or a turner, just flip the omelette over. Then all you need to do is slide and slide it onto your plate. And then I serve it with a few cherry tomatoes.